before I called Dan, um, we could not answer the door and actually greet whoever was there. Um, we have five dogs. We have three Weimaraners and two Minpins. And one bark, and it was just a barking nightmare. You couldn't get them to stop. They wouldn't back away and let anyone in the door. It didn't matter how much tugging, how much pulling, how much yelling. Um, before long, you're looking around the room for somebody else to help you. And now you're all yelling, and the dogs are still barking, and they still won't let your company in. It had gotten so bad that I literally did not take a shower unless someone else was home for fear of what destruction I would find when I come out. Uh, or the door facings being marred up with their nails from them scratching trying to get in. I couldn't cook without having at least one dog between myself and the stove. I couldn't turn my back away from anything that I was doing because they would literally leap up and get it. It didn't matter what it was. Uh, it could be a dish of flour and they would have it off of the counter. Um, we didn't sit on the furniture because the dogs had the furniture. <laughs> you were literally pulling every dog in the house off of the furniture and it was a constant. They were trying to crawl back up on your lap. Um, it was just horrible. It got to the point to where the two older wives, I was very scared for the youngest one's well-being. Um, every time I turned around, they were biting him in the back. One would be in front of him and one would be beside him and it was just crazy and I was literally in tears. And I thought it was something to do with mating and I just didn't understand because they've all been neutered. So I called uh, the Corinth Veterinarian, which is where we take our dogs, and I was in tears. I said, there's got to be something that can be done. You know, I don't know why they're acting like this. And the veterinarian clinic come back onto the phone after they put me on hold and said to me, this is a behavioral problem. This is not something medical. And um, you are going to have to get the dogs in control. They're all trying to dominate the youngest dog. And they had told me that they had several business cards there. And I said, well, I was there last week with some primary care. And I picked up the cards, and as I was visiting with them and asking them questions about the different cards that I had picked up, they told me that they had been very pleased and had wonderful feedback about Dan. So I called Dan, he calls me back, and he said that he agreed that it was definitely behavioral and that basically they were trying to establish who was going to be the alpha, and um, they were fighting for the position, and that because I hadn't established Alpha in the household, well, I did, and it didn't matter what I did. Um, I told him that I felt like that the dogs wanted to behave because sometimes they would listen, sometimes they wouldn't. Some of the things that I had tried were working, some of them weren't. And um, so it was about two weeks before we could actually coordinate schedules uh, for him to come and visit with us and, and give us some information. and. Literally, I, I can't believe that it took so long before we called. As you can see, this would have never happened. Our dogs would never have laid down here while we had people in the house. They would be sniffing them and then trying to nudge their hands and demanding petting. And it, it just amazes me. I couldn't go outside the house while all the dogs weren't on the front door, jumping and clawing. And it's just, it's amazing. I cook dinner, the dogs lay on their bed. I take a shower, the dogs lay on their bed. And it was one session, and it was about three hours, and it was five dogs. The men pins were included. Um, the youngest men pin is not quite a year old, and he is very skittish. He has a lot of fear, and he has some aggressive tendencies. As you can see, <laughs> He's not being too aggressive right now. Um, Jessica couldn't leave the room uh, without the dogs chasing her. She works odd hours and different shifts, and she comes in at 5.30 in the morning and could not get any sleep. And she slept a full eight and a half hours without the dogs going crazy. So it's, it's definitely made a major change in our lives, um, the pleasantness and the, the peace uh, I can't believe that the dogs sleep so much and just play without going crazy.